This switchboard section here at the AT&T archives may have had a longer useful life than any other in the Bell system. It locked 55 full years as an essential part of the communications system on Santa Catalina Island in California. While the rest of the world got dial service and then touch tone, the little corner of the earth that this switchboard occupied remained voice only. Customers had to call up the operator on hand cranked phones like this one. The operator would then place the call manually through the switchboard. It was 1923 when the board was first installed on the island. You'll see it alongside several other sections just like it in the upcoming film. The board arrived just as the island was connected to the mainland by undersea cable. As demand for phone service grew, so did the switchboard with new sections added to keep up. For a while, life there was pretty ho-hum. But during World War II, Santa Catalina Island was declared off limits to tourists and all boat traffic was cut from the mainland. Throughout the war, only a small cadre of support civilians would share the island with military bases set up by the U.S. Army Signal Corps, the U.S. Maritime Service, the Coast Guard, the Navy, and the Office of Strategic Services. Immediately after the war, this little switchboard would find itself in the hub where the oldest Bell technology met the newest. Thanks to equipment left behind by the military, Catalina hosted the very first installation of telephone service via microwave radio relay, the precursor to today's mobile phone technologies. Two parabolic antennas could now channel calls between Catalina and the mainland. Still, all calls had to be placed the same as before, through the operator. It wasn't until 1978 that Santa Catalina Island cut over from operator service, joining the rest of the country in dial and an electronic switching system. That's when this section was finally retired as the last manual switchboard operated by AT&T in the United States. But before that happened, the Bell system made this film which shows it still in action in 1977. Here's goodbye, Central. Number please. Hey, what's the story here? There's no dial on the phone. So you don't need a dial in sighting. Before anyone knew about dial telephones, everyone knew the phone operator. We used to call her Central. Central was always there, nimble fingers connecting one phone to another, a familiar voice offering personal service. But more customers kept calling, and more, until sheer volume brought about the dial. Central almost faded from the scene. Catalina Island, California is going to be the last Bell Telephone Office where operators still connect local calls. The residents like it this way. For some old-time switchboards elsewhere, the dial tone is sounding. But here, there's no plan or reason to change. The mahogany switchboard was installed on Catalina in 1923. In the resort's heyday, 15 busy operators switched the calls. Just a few provide the same service now. The island's quiet charm matches the personality of its phone service. Gone are the flappers of the jazz era who flocked to the famous Avalon Ballroom. Today's visitors find escape from the crowded mainland, a spot where kids can romp in the open square. 
Catalina retains a way of life, much of the country has passed by. The island community is modern, yet unhurried. Peaceful, somehow serene. Virginia City, Nevada is different. It's growing, and dial phones are coming. Marcella Goodman is an operator there. Virginia City. 561 is the home number, sir. I'll ring it for you. When I first started to work in uh, 1949, I don't think we had over 100 telephones. We didn't handle over maybe 30 calls an hour. Now, we handle from all the way from 60 to 80 calls an hour. It's really too busy for one operator. Yet two operators can't work this system because it is not a multiple board. We like to give the best of service, but sometimes we can't. Jack Flanagan is the county assessor. Hello, Marcella. Would you get me the sheriff, please? I was born and raised here. Since a child growing up, I've seen quite a little bit of changes in the town. Way back in the early days, why everything was horse and team drawn. Not too long ago, in Virginia City, we were tearing down old buildings to use them up for firewood. But now we're rebuilding on account of the increase in the population coming into town. The vast movement to the west, why it's starting to end rub off on Virginia City. There's a lot of newcomers coming into town and they just kind of fall in love with Virginia City and want to make their home here. So things have changed quite a little bit. growing up we've used the old crank system here in Virginia City call up and uh, you never have to bother about giving any number you just say uh, operator give me this Joneses or the Smiths and you get them on the phone but I think now with the uh, town growing the girls in the office are really overworked but the service that the girls have given us in the past has been really wonderful and we're going to certainly miss the operators in Virginia City. Number, please. St. Ignis, Michigan, like Virginia City, is joining the dial network. Okay. Until recently, a glowing lamp still meant a caller on the line. The operators answered, marking circuits with plastic rings. In the peak tourist season, they had trouble keeping up. Calls were recorded on tickets, whizzed overhead on a clattering track. The system stole the operator's time, and they had little time to give. So Western Electric installers have completed a versatile electronic switching system for St. Ignace. Craftsmen wired thousands of connections, linking the millions of components. Hours of testing ensured peak performance on the day the system was placed in service. When all the work was completed, direct local dialing became available for the first time. Calls can be switched instantaneously. Records kept automatically. The new equipment will not only improve service, the complex system also contains the foundation for new telephone conveniences which can be introduced in the future. So the clatter of the old record carrier now is silent in St. Ignis. Operators have recorded their last long distance call, darkened the last switchboard lamp. Modern electronics can handle the service, but the style was set by Central. Yes, we only have uh, one, two, three, and four digits in St. Ignace. Well, why is that? Because we don't have dial system here yet. Well, we have a manual office, and we ring the number for you. 
A switchboard that works by hand. Yeah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>